The true mind is unborn and imperishable. Explanation. Benke's core teaching is that the true mind, which he calls the unborn mind, is not subject to birth and death, nor is it affected by the transient experiences of life. This mind is pure, clear, and free from delusion. By realizing this, one can live without being swayed by the ups and downs of life, finding peace in the unchanging nature of the true self. All things are perfectly resolved in the unborn. Explanation. This quote suggests that when one is in touch with the unborn mind, all problems and conflicts are naturally resolved. The unborn mind, being free from ego and attachment, sees things as they are without distortion. This perspective allows for a state of natural harmony and clarity, where solutions emerge effortlessly because there is no inner turmoil or confusion. Do not try to become anything. Do not make yourself into anything. Do not be a meditator. Do not become enlightened. When you sit, let it be. When you walk, let it be. Grasp at nothing. Resist nothing. Explanation. Banke advises against striving or grasping for spiritual achievements or states of being. He teaches that the natural state of the unborn mind is already perfect and does not need to be manipulated or forced. By simply being and allowing things to unfold naturally, without resistance or attachment, one can live in harmony with their true nature. Abide in the unborn and be free from birth and death. Explanation. Banke teaches that by recognizing and abiding in the unborn mind, one transcends the cycle of birth and death, not in a literal sense, but in terms of the constant arising and passing away of thoughts, emotions, and experiences. In the unborn mind, there is a timeless presence that is unaffected by the fluctuations of life. This realization brings a profound sense of freedom and peace. You are perfectly complete just as you are, and nothing needs to be added to you. Explanation. Banke's message here is one of inherent completeness. He emphasizes that each person's true nature is already whole and perfect, and there is no need to seek anything outside oneself or to change anything fundamentally about oneself. This teaching encourages self-acceptance and the recognition that we are already enough as we are, without needing to conform to external standards or ideals.